Imagine this as a plane of spacetime. When we place a massive object on it, we'll see the plane start to sink downward, and it warps the geometry of the surrounding spacetime, pulling every smaller mass object toward its center until they eventually collide. This is the spacetime curvature described in Einstein's general relativity. The reason two objects seem to experience gravity is because the gravitational field distorts the four-dimensional spacetime between them, rather than a literal pulling force. At the same time this curvature also alters the path an object travels. If we give a low-mass object some initial speed, and it exceeds escape velocity, it will follow an unbound trajectory. If it's below escape velocity, it will move along an elliptical orbit. Every massive body in the universe warps the spacetime around it. And this explains why satellites orbit planets, and why planets orbit their stars. So why does everything in the solar system move around the sun in the same direction? Back when the sun first formed 5 billion years ago, its surroundings didn't contain 8 planets like today. There were nearly a hundred small bodies moving randomly, and over hundreds of millions of years of collisions, their chaotic motions were gradually smoothed out, and they slowly merged into larger planets. Eventually under the sun's immense gravity, a stable star system with orderly motion emerged, and everything ended up orbiting counterclockwise. Why do we say that the universal speed limit of light acts like an invisible shackle, trapping every civilization within its own galaxy? Imagine that right now, 65 million light years away, an alien civilization is observing Earth with a super telescope. What they'd see wouldn't be us today, but Earth in the dinosaur era, engulfed in chaos 65 million years ago. As Earth endured its long and brutal evolution, and with the rise of humanity, we slowly advanced from primitive societies, eventually stepping into the age of modern science. But by the time Earth's modern light reaches them, that alien civilization watching us may already have gone extinct. And in a terrifying, 93 billion light year observable universe, all civilizations may inevitably miss each other across the vastness of spacetime. This unbreakable cosmic speed limit also explains why humanity has never found a single trace of extraterrestrial life, and this fundamental law of physics may actually serve as a safeguard for all civilizations while also acting as a built-in failsafe that keeps the universe stable and self-preserved.